What's up, guys? Happy Mindful Monday. I missed last week because I was not feeling good. I was just focusing on getting out this Big Life's episode for Thursday, so I'm sorry that I missed you last Monday. I'm currently in LA. I wanted to share with you something that's been going on right now as I've been evaluating the opportunities around building my own business. So I just got out of a meeting with my mentor, who I love and respect. He's like the, the grandpa I never had. He's a businessman out of South Africa who's been involved with several businesses, several different industries, and in this particular industry, Industry. He's helping me with agriculture, which is kind of where he started from. He had this like huge family sugarcane farm. And we were talking about my plan, right? He was like, it's not a plan. These are goals. Set up goals. Goals are what's the most important for you right now, Rain, at this age. You know, this is your go time to create what you want to have come into full fruition by the time you're 40. You know, on the business side of things, it's like very practical. It's very clear for him. That's why I go to him. He made two very interesting suggestions to me. The first one was make sure that I make a little bit of a change in my decision-making processes, my decisions, the way that I'm striving for things, the way that I'm setting my goals, and the way that that structure looks, looks different than what it's looked like for the last five years. The second one was really interesting. The second one was take a look at your family dynamics and really work through that stuff first. Now, this isn't the place to get into the specificities around those dynamics here, right? Like, that's this isn't where I'm gonna share those things, but it made me realize something that was really, really important important for Mindful Mondays and I really wanted to go there. When it comes to building your business and it comes to looking at the tools that you have when you're in this process of self-actualization, he was really right. I was trying to kind of go full speed of he ahead with things and the reason that you kind of have to go back into what your roots are is because you really need to understand the functionalities of the tools that you were working with as an individual. We are always hemmed in by what can be termed family work scripts. That is, scripts that guide us, often very subtly, but also very heavily, towards certain occupations and away from others. If you're in the process of self-actualization, like you want to have full access to the functionality of your inherent tools. And those tools can be inherited, those tools can be significant to you, those they can be God-given and completely individualistic to you. It could be a combination, you know, like you could be involved with your family business because you genuinely have a passion for what your family business was. I really understood where these dynamics really plays into a tomorrow of a society where we are self-actualized, right? Instead of so many of us waking up one day and really facing the facts that we're unhappy, you know, we realize that we don't have full access to ourselves. And by that, I mean, we're not completely aligned with our joy and with our purpose all at the same time. And there are hard days, of course, there's hard days we have to fight for the achievement of our lives through hard work. And that hard work is very hard sometimes. You know, we have a lot of obstacles in our way. But what I'm talking about is alignment and alignment falls in the category of the truth. You know, he was really talking to me about really making sure that I wasn't stuck in the past in a way that was hindering my ability to put my best foot forward. We're liable to have received many little messages indicating that certain careers are inferior and therefore beneath us, maybe dangerous, phony, or not quite right for our sort of station in life. And my mentor is doing this with me because he wants full access to me too, right? Like a coach and a mentor's, you know, top goal, if you ever have one, should always be for you to self-actualize. Like those are the only people you should ever be working with. And he was really just like, this is what you have to work on first. You know, it's fun for me to get into business and it's fun for me to work on new ideas and it's fun for me to be a visionary and to dream up new concepts and to network and to put ideas together. And I'm realizing that, you know, those things are, are things that I've done for a really long time. Oddly poignant for him to point out that this is the area that I need to work on first. But he was like, really look at the roots of where you come from. Make sure that all that is sorted out. Because if you have limiting beliefs in there, you're only going to grow as far as your limiting beliefs. Oddly, it's uncomfortable for me. I accept everything he says. You know, like I respect him through and through and I trust him so much because of everything that he's been through and, and how authentic he is with me and how genuine he is with me and how honest he is with me. There's a difference. Like it's a humbled place of experience where he made mistakes. And I trust people who make mistakes. I don't trust people who 
kind of pretend that they're perfect and they have it all together because we're not perfect. Like that's not how it goes, right? Like we've already come into an agreement with that. It's a little scary for me, but it, it makes sense that it's scary. You know, it's, it makes sense that it's scary that we have to go to those places that are uncomfortable and that we don't go to all the time. Like to live that examined life means you go where the light hasn't been shining, the unexamined. Like there's only so much I can figure out on my own. And so if there's answers that need to be declared, you know, like I'm asking God to just make it clear to me. That's my process. What I'm realizing though is that on the road to self-actualization you really have to fine-tune your understanding of your foundation and you have to really clarify what your relationship to that foundation is too. We are liable to try to be good children not just because we feel love but because we fear losing love. Because we live in dread of being cast out if we were to dare to say what we want. Like if you are doing things out of habit, it didn't happen out of maliciousness, it didn't happen because anyone in their right mind wasn't doing the best they could in the moment with the information they had, right? But this isn't about blame, this is about shifting your power and having grace in that, but understanding there is a certain amount of autonomy that you have to have when you're stepping forward into who you really are. It doesn't have anything to do with other people's definition of you. We set up like a very, very clear boundary and it gets really wonky when people start telling you who you are. So just question that, especially if it comes from your heritage. Unfortunately, just like you, many generations have come before you who were children and then teenagers and then adults. And during those periods, they were subjected to lies themselves about who they were. And sometimes those lies perpetuate through the generations and they're told to you. I believe that some of what we are does come from who we come from, but your inner truth is yours and yours alone. And so the distinction there is really, really important. And I know intuitively everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's just a matter of doing the work. It is hard. This isn't easy stuff, but my mentor definitely was like, this is your priority right now. The breath in which I understand now how important this stuff is, is very, very clear. From someone with that background, I, I really do believe it. You know, there are some concepts that are totally timeless, and this is simply just a method of being an adult. You know, self-actualization is growing into the true adult. Like, there are plenty of literal adults walking around who never grew up to be adults. You know, like you see people who throw fits still, like out in public or whatever. This is about self-actualization. Self-actualization is about becoming the living adult so that you can be the master in your own life. So this isn't about drama. This is about being able to articulate your light, your purpose, your truth in the most graceful way because you have every right to be exactly what you were born to be. Okay, ciao. Bye.